Hello there, welcome back to the Ogre, the old Git Reacts reviews and oft times reminisces. Um, and a third of three uh, songs which sort of um, played a part in me looking at new horizons in music. Um, the first two albums, or first two bands I mentioned, were Tank and um, Dark Angel. Uh, and they were obviously quite a long mm -hmm. time before this. But uh, Fear Factory came about when I uh, was sort of well out of um, touch with music scenes and what was current and what I would like and uh, there's a very haphazard period for me of, of music where I didn't know really what what was out there because I was working away from home and not been exposed to much new music and my friends by and large had stayed listening to the same old thing um, and I'd moved on from it uh, but moved into the abyss uh, or maybe the the antarctic it was cold and empty a desert maybe sahara somewhere somewhere there's nothing um that uh, caught my interest uh and so i had to resort to listening to old stuff and nostalgia tripping to a degree all the time um and then i got hold of um here's was the mind killer and soul of a, the new a new machine is it I can't remember now i've not listened to them for so long but um although they weren't boat floaters they they were intriguing enough for me to be interested when uh, this came out and so um when i listened to this it had an immediate impact now I thought long and hard about whether I was going to do this as, as a reaction review because it's been done to death elsewhere uh, by the, uh, the, the the more mainstream review uh, reactors um, and they've all made their comments but um, I'm going to do it because it is relevant to my musical history and the stuff I listen to today um, so I think my favourite off of here is Self Bias Resistor. So let's have it, shall we? And that, um, as for many, was the eyebrow raiser for me. Um, not just that. I mean, if you've ever been to a fish processing uh, facility or uh, one of those industrial butchery plants, um, the riffing on here reminds me of those sort of places. The <laughs> it's chopping away uh, relentlessly and with um, remarkable precision shall we say, much as the butchers and fish filleters do in those uh, those factories. Um, and I don't think I'd ever heard anything um, before then so precisely delivered, uh, which still had the beans. And of course, there was that dichotomy and contrast uh, between the, the, the growled vocals and the clean, which again, um, although it had been apparent on it the previous two records uh wasn't as 
starker contrast as here. Um, and so I have to say, uh, I was quite hooked and taken aback um, and delighted. <laughs> Other things that um, struck me by uh, this album was that um, before sort of Fear Factory and their like, I mean, again, I know you're aficionado on whatever genre this is, um, <laughs> but um, metal before that I listened to uh, always included some sort of wanky guitar solo. Um, and of course, this is devoid of it, I think, throughout the whole album. Don't quote me, but I'm pretty sure it is. And so uh, it was refreshing in many ways that um, the convention of chucking a guitar solo into a metal song um, wasn't there. Um, I'm sure there were other bands at the time that were also um, turning the backs on the, um, the fretboard it used to in that way. But um, this was the first I'd heard without it, um, without a doubt. And... Um, one of the things I love about this as well is it's, it's just a nuance, but it's the cascading bass riff in the um, in the chorus. It's it's quite subtle in many ways, um, but uh, that always grabbed me when I listened to this. Many ways, uh, this sounds like it's been recorded in, in one of those industrial freezers. It's cold and um, emotionless to my ears. Um, and so, when the clean singing comes in, and particularly that um, pacey bit there, uh, I suppose it's the only point really where there's any sort of hint of soul or emotion in the song. Um, so, it does sort of. Uh, <laughs> 
it's a warm spot in, a, in an otherwise cold motif. Um, again, that contrast is sort of is pleasing to these ears. Uh, and of course, I don't know if these were the first to, to use that contrast of um, growled and sung vocals. Not really bothered to be honest, but let's just say uh, we've heard it all a lot since. So if they were the first, well, fair play. Um, So there you go. Um, quite impacted for me at the time this was, um, and again, as far as sending my listening in a new direction, this um, this certainly did that, and it, it gave me a path to follow. Because as I say, I was in like a musical wilderness at the time, and so it gave me. Um, I suppose it's it's when uh, you, you you find footprints in the snow when you're lost. You've got something to follow to get you to get you somewhere um where you want to be um so thanks to fear factory for that um although i was listening to other things at the time but um again i mentioned on the uh, dark angel video that uh, i was surprised by how many hated the dark angel uh, dance descends and um again when i was sort of opening an hour and about what to do with this one whether to do it at all um <laughs> i read some comments on a, on a metal forum as you do um and the amount of people that hate this um, astounds me, really. Um, I get, I get one, min, one man's shit is another man's shine, but uh, the, the venom of some of the, uh, the comments about this album did surprise me. Um, I suppose the only answer to that is, if you don't like it, don't listen to it. But anyway, that was uh, the third and final little trip for now down memory lane um, with a theme of... Um, sort of broadening my horizon so um there you go uh, click your bollocks if you want catch you all next time cheerio